Here are the top 5 selling narrow body aircraft in the market for the most latest generation. We will look at some of the popular narrow body aircraft in this video, which are taken into account based on the rankings and orders. The newest generation of these aircraft recently made its market debut. Let's explore these planes. Number 1. Airbus A320. Due to its advanced technology and effectiveness, the Airbus A320neo is one of the most popular airplanes worldwide. It is one of the most commonly purchased airplanes ever produced by an Airbus company. By 2019, the market share of the A320neo over the rival Boeing 737 MAX was 60%. More than 130 customers have placed orders for 8,502 A320neo aircraft as of July 2022, and 2,341 of those aircraft had already been delivered. The Airbus A320neo family of aircraft represents a technological advancement over the Airbus A320. It was put into the program on December 1, 2010, and took off for the first time in September 2014. Compared to existing A320 engines, maintenance costs are 20% cheaper. Customers can have two options for buying engines. It can be equipped with two different types of engines, the Pratt & Whitney PW1000 and the CFM Leap 1A. Number 2. Boeing B737 MAX Aircraft. The Boeing 737 MAX is the fourth generation of the Boeing 737, a narrow-body airliner built by Boeing Commercial Airplanes, a division of the American company Boeing. It replaces the Boeing 737 next generation and competes with the Airbus A320neo series. Initiated in August 2011, the program made its first flight in January 2016. It has four versions and seats anywhere between 138 to 204 people. It has a single-engine configuration that may be equipped with the CFM Leap 1B engine, one of the best engines and the similar number 3, Airbus A220 family. Another game-changing aircraft from Airbus is the A220. The fewer passengers and shorter routes network are best suited for this aircraft. Airbus Canada Limited Partnership is the manufacturer of the five abreast Airbus A220 family of narrow-body aircraft. It served as the Bombardier Xeris for two years after its initial design by Bombardier. The program was introduced on July 13, 2008, and the A220-100, formerly known as the CS-100, flew for the first time on September 16, 2013. After Airbus purchased a 50.01% part in the project through a joint venture set up in 2016, the plane was relaunched as the A220 in July 2018. It has fly-by-wire flight controls, highly efficient engines, and substantial use of composite materials, similar to the wide-body Boeing 787 Dreamliner, an Airbus A350XWP, and is propelled by Pratt & Whitney PW1500G geared turbofan engines. The aircraft family has a range of 6,670 km and can lift a maximum of 70.9 tons off the ground. Both launch companies reported better than expected fuel burn and dispatch dependability, in addition to receiving praise from the crew and passengers. The geared turbofan engine with improved aerodynamics can reduce fuel consumption by up to 25% per passenger, maintenance expenses reduced by up to 25%, and noise emissions reduced by up to 50%. It has major operators like Delta Airlines, Air Baltic, Air Canada, Swiss International Airlines, and JetBlue Airways. As of 2022, it had 228 aircraft delivered to customers after receiving 774 orders. Number 4. Comac C919 Aircraft. It is yet to release to market, but this Chinese aircraft has already reached a significant number of orders, which inspires trust in the firm making it. The Chinese aviation authorities have awarded the C919 its all-flying certification, and this year's market release is anticipated. 
Chinese aircraft company Comac created the narrow-body airliner known as the Comac C919 for commercial use. In 2008, the development program was introduced. The first prototype went into production in December 2011, and it was finished on 2 November 2015 and had its first flight on 5 May 2017. It is powered by Chinese AKCJ-1000A turbofan engines, or CFM LEAP engines. Be able to travel 5,555 kilometers with 156 to 168 passengers in its typical operating configuration. Comac had 1,008 commitments as of the end of August 2018, including 305 firm orders, many of which came from Chinese leasing companies or airlines. It has up to 77.3 tons of maximum takeoff weight and 20,400 kilograms payload weight. The majority of Chinese consumers have already committed to purchasing C919 aircraft, and further Comac is already working on the next iteration to develop wide-body aircraft. A long-range, 250 to 320-seat twinjet aircraft family called the Comac C929 is being developed by Krayak, a joint venture between the Chinese Comac and the Russian United Aircraft Corporation. Number 5, Embraer E190E2 family. Another aircraft that fits inside a 5,000-kilometer travel segment is the Embraer. Regional airlines would benefit most from using this aircraft. A medium-range jet is the Embraer E195. The E190E2 was the first type, and it made its first flight on May 23, 2016, was certified on February 28, 2018, and went into service with Whittier on April 24, 2018. It has Pratt & Whitney PW1000G turbofan engine, fly-by-wire controls with new avionics, and upgraded cabins are shared by the three twinjet variants. They also have the same four abreast narrow body fuselage with varying lengths and three different new wings. The E195 E2 will be 9.4 feet long and have three seat rows than the E195, and it can hold 146 people. Two GE engines and two Pratt and Whitney PW1919 G engines can power this aircraft. Embraer aims to reduce fuel consumption by 16 to 24 percent and maintenance costs by 15 to 25 percent per seat. It has 146 seats and can hold up to 88 passengers. Additionally, it has a maximum takeoff weight capacity of 61 tons and a payload capacity of 16 tons. Its range is 4,917 kilometers. It has currently gotten orders for almost 241 aircraft. Tell us which of the listed aeroplanes is your favorite. Please subscribe to our channel if you are a new visitor.